Yes, hi guys, welcome back again. Someone asked me a question. Can you resign from outside Qatar and you still be paid your end of service bonus or what we call gratitude? The answer is yes or no, depending. In this video, I'm going to share you some of the tips, what you need to do, what is the best advice for you to do, and what can you do in case you want to be paid or in case you think what is the best solution for you to do at that time. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, don't forget, don't hesitate to subscribe. Don't forget, support by subscribing to this channel is the only way that I'll be motivated to make more videos. Yes, we look at resigning. Resigning from the company, you can resign from anywhere. You can even resign from your bed. By a message away, by an email away, by a letter away. You can resign from anywhere because of the smart technologies we need. But you, what you need to understand is that What's the criteria for you to resign? Why do I need to resign? Where do I send my resignation to? Most of us have been to these companies, but we don't even know an official email address of that company, which is so bad. Because that is the only way that is going to hope to prove that you sent an email to that company will resign. It will be proof. That is why most of the time, you need to know what is the official mobile number of that company you are working in where do they the human resource or normally share their information normally leave alone the personal numbers then if that one fails you out look at what you call an official email address it's very important each company has an official email address that employees need to share need to make their requests so use that employee do use that email address to send in your request or send in your resignation when you resign you need to give a notes period in case you are in the country you need to give a notes period for you to be cleared out of the system your employer will prepare your gratitude also will prepare what you call your next permit in that case then let us try to look at what we call end of service bonus end of service bonus is just a token of appreciation that is put by governments in gulf for employees who are working in the companies for more than one year as a token of appreciation this token of appreciation is money that's being given to you and this money is going to be in what we call an equivalent to what you call your basic salary if you're working in that company and you are being paid 2000 your basic salary when you want to resign after one year then that company will give you what you call 2000 which is the basic of your salary as a token of appreciation for working in that company yes most of the times most of us people we got into this scenario where we go for vacation and you want to resign from there. You want to resign from vacation, but you still want also your gratitude to be paid to you on your vacation. Yes, these are two possibilities. It may be possible, it may not be possible. Well, we are going to look at what you call the nature of jobs you are doing, what is the nature of the job, the nature of the company, and the, we look at the management in your company. There are some managements that really will be very good. That even if you resign and give them a resignation, they are willing to send you some money. They will say, give us your number, we'll send you the money. But those are few in the Gulf countries. Those are few companies that we have. Yes, you can resign from your home country or you can resign outside your company or outside Qatar by sending an email. That email should be sent to an official company email address of course it will show that the email was received and read you've resigned well, the reason why we are resigning is we want the former company to get us out of the system or to cancel us out of the visa so that i can get a new opportunity to return to the country in case i have another job that is being offered to me that is right and that is true so we can resign and you can resign from wherever you are to resign. Then the other question is that, will I receive my end of service bonus or benefits? Yes or no? That is also something that will give my own experience. Reason being that, most of the companies, if you go out and you resign from out, that is a better chance for them to say, we get rid of you, there's nothing that we can give you. Because... There is no way you can even take them to court. You are outside of the country. How are you going to take the court? How are you going to take your employer to court when you are in Kenya or in Uganda or in Tanzania? 
Are you going to drag this employer to the Tanzanian court or to Kenyan or Ugandan court? No. You will have to file a case against your employer when you are in Qatar. That's when Qatar government or ministry can follow. But the ministry will not follow you up. Follow up when you are outside Qatar for an employer, for an employer who refused to give you your end of service bonus. Let's say, for example, you worked uh, for the company for five years. You want to resign from outside. Remember working for a company in five years. Let's say, for example, you worked your basic salary was 2000 Already when you're closing up with this company, your end of service bonus will be around 10,000 Qatar real. To the Kenyan shilling, you know how much it is. To Ugandan shilling, you know how much bulge of money you have. So you decide to resign from outside Uganda or from outside Qatar or you want to resign in Kenya and say your company to send you the money. The company will not send you the money. Unless that one was agreed upon in the contract. It can. But also it will be very hard for you to fight from outside Qatar. It's better you get from here where the follow-up will be done and your employer will keep the idea up. So, contrarily to 80%, it will not, they will not give you benefit when you resign from outside Qatar. And that is a professional job. For professional jobs, they have the way the contracts are so different from the normal casual jobs like security, cleaning, hospitality, in those kind of small uh, jobs. It's so far different contracts and different terms in the contracts. So, meaning that you, you, you either choose to lose all your end of service bonus or to stay and get your end of service bonus so you choose to return and get after getting your end of service bonus you resign completely or to wait and get all your payments you exit the country and resign good for good that will be the better option for you but if you feel you want to leave the money that you worked for for, for the last seven years yes you can you resign from wherever you want to resign from outside Qatar, and there's nothing happening has to happen to you that is your right. Something also you need to consider when you're resigning outside Qatar. The good thing is that you resign and they will cancel you out of the visa. Your employer you resign and you will take after six months, then you cancel out your EQID will be got off. And once it gets off, it is fine. That is okay. You can look for a new fresh visa to return into the country. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting. Remember, it's next from the next question giving all this.